Welcome to the part of death. Hello, club. We like Everyone being alive. Dies. We like being alive. Oh, 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 like guys, guys, oh, like guys, 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 guys. The point of time for that song is well since past, since now we're pretty much in the phase where, yeah, a lot of people are gonna die. As you recall, in the original, a lot of people did die when that plate got dropped. In fact, pretty much everyone mm -hmm. died. In fact, you know, funny enough, how Shinra dropped that plate on to kill just a few people, yet when you get down to it, half of that group survived. So, in a sense, the mission was kind of an overall net failure. Yeah, I mean, you, wipe out, you wiped out half of them, but they were the half uh, back, well, back in the original, no one really cared about. <laughs> and that, uh, and that, uh, well, I would say proved to be the downfall of Shinra in the long run. But when storming the Shinra HQ, the group eventually got captured. If it wasn't for Safety, we would have been locked. So, don't know what right. to think. Well, okay, uh, okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, I know, I, know the, I know the tower's under attack, but I need to buy some stuff from the vending machine. Okay, Tia, let's consider a what if Sephiroth had not entered the picture here and there. Now, if Sephiroth hadn't entered the picture, it still would have been an overall net loss for Shinra, because let's put it like this, it had put Shinra in a pretty negative way right here. So, if I could possibly see the heroes somehow negotiating their way out of the situation by either A, fighting their way out, Cloud. or B, striking something of a deal with Shinra, knowing how Shinra's a sinking ship anyway. Cloud, you're, on, Cloud, you're underneath a tower under attack. This is no time to be sitting down. So, the webs, who's the one, so the webs, who's the one making the protagonist seem like he doesn't have priorities right now? Yeah. It's also a combination well, of things. Cloud is a unique individual. Oh, well, it, by that logic, I, by you. Well, by that logic, Drips, can I also say that Evan is also a unique individual? By the, by your logic, then. Yes. Like. Ah, yes. Okay then, I guess. But uh, yeah. it's a combination of things, Jova. The fact that uh, remember one of the entire reasons why President Shinra was so willing to drop the Sector Seven. And not even rebuild it after is because we were confident with with Aerith they would have found uh, you know the promised land soon enough and would have built an entire new city on top of it, uh, uh, Neo Midgar. So basically, dropping dropping a plate and everything would have been no big deal because people at the end of the day would have needed Shinra and Vermaco energy, um, just like uh, the pre the hologram president told in his remake. Aww. The the people, the, the people may know the risk. They may not seem to know the risk, but we still want, uh, you know, the comfort. Uh, that right. uh, provides. Anyway, basically, I was hoping that while I was dodging the turret fire, the the bullets were accidentally hit their own guys, but it didn't. No, the game, the game. The friendly, friendly fight does not exist, uh, both for you and not for the enemies either. The game, uh, well, remember, Dwebs, this game is still operating, well, half of the battle system is still operating on turn-based uh, logic, and that doesn't work uh, in that kind of logic. Well, uh, the only major difference would have been if the chaos, uh, you know, debuff, uh, the confuser debuff uh, was a thing here, because that's in more actual prevalent game, that's what it does. It allows for that, for just for that specific person inflicted with debuff, uh, Friendly fire, and that's the hazard that you're, you know, you're doing. But okay, that security guard over there. How did he not? How did that guard not see me on the step before I took a step forward? He was looking at the shield, his own shield. I guess it depends. Well, wow, and then I thought Cloud had um, odd priorities, but that guard <laughs> there, man. Jova. Jova. He used what? soldier stealth. <laughs> oh God, he did. It's canon. Ten out of ten. Lovely. Well, it hmm. de depends on the game too. Remember, confusion in Inukuni 2 causes your controls to reverse. Well, I so. was talking about the Final Fantasy games uh, in general. Um, 12 has a friendly fire enabled if you want to, because it actually actively encourages you to experiment in doing things by having some stuff like the Regulus weapon, which don't do that much damage, but they inflict a, bu a buff, a positive buff, to the, pe to the target uh, hit. Uh, by that, meaning that if you want to save MPs, you just whack your ally with a with a regulus and you inflict protect on them or something. Well, considering 
Well, considering this is not a FF2 style of gameplay, and there's and the limit, and even in the original game, hitting your own opponents will not fill the limit break gauge anyway. The the, the friendly fire w is kind of useless anyway. So. Oh, maybe. No. That, that maybe. Also... maybe for some reason Sephiroth climbed up this tower and put the box here. Yeah, absolutely, and that, that's also the reason why in, in the action games uh, it's only when the when the confused debuff uh, is inflicted but that happens and not normally because otherwise it, it can become a cluster pack potentially mm -hmm. okay that takes care of that since not really, there's, 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 one, one. there's one more i said that sentry Back. not all of them okay I, I said one sentry pay attention there we go. Well, now I mean, that's all of them. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. Damn it, she's not here. Come on. Those are not boxes, Weebs. <laughs> they are boxes. You put stuff in them, and they're square. Therefore, they are boxes. And this game was made by Square Enix, so. Box Anatomy by Dwibs. Oh. oh, it's you. Guys. Oh, it's uh, big, sir. Oh, oh, dear. Cloud, I don't feel so good. Nah, that, into my nah, eyes. Nah, ah, nah, Teo, that, you know, so, nah, Teo, that only works if he's disintegrating. Well, considering how the, uh, the, the, the ghosts were floating around, it was almost as if we were trying to dissolve him. Yeah. Yeah. It works. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, Biggs, but um, you died in the original, Unfor so... Unfortunately, we could not afford any more Gideon Emery, so we had to resign his contract. Yeah, I mean, I mean, hell, that's what we that's what we did in Final Fantasy XIV, so... Uh, Man, so it. Biggs is going to be replaced by a British voice actor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame, because even Gideon Emery can't put a good British accent. Yeah, he does it with Paul Fear. Mm. Come on, Dweebs. Be a good boy. Good. I won't. <laughs> well, technically, to the other option, he is still fine. Like he just. But what about you? As in showing care for his. Uh, like, but, but I can't just leave. As in, I can't just leave you here. So technically, the other option is fine as well, if you ask mm. me. And well, guys, let's press let's press F for wedge. One more thing. I keep uh, pressing the keyboard, but nothing happens. Okay. Oh, what is this? Yeah. They're great. I used to visit. <laughs> if you talk to one of the teachers, uh, she will tell you that uh, she has like a love affair with someone. Yeah, it uh, connect the dots. Uh, it's also it's also a foreshadowing for one cutscene near the end. Oh yeah. Well, we'll get there. Well, unfortunately, well, Biggs won't, but uh, Cloud will get there. <laughs> Damn, Dweebs. <laughs> Jesus, Dwebs. You drop that to more like the Sector 7 plate. Oh, too yeah. soon. <laughs> Good luck. Well, yeah, it hasn't dropped yet. Our future is in your hands. Oh, boy, remember this long. Well, and so, oh. R.I.P. Biggs. Let's let, I'll play a tune in his honor. Da, da, da. Okay, done. We have like the b b Biggs will want us to carry on with the mission, Wanny. So uh, let's carry on the yeah, mission. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep climbing. Yeah, but not without without paying paying respects to its course. Yeah, unfortunately, the urgency of the moment means we can't uh, even give Biggs a proper burial for now. Well, the well the plate will bury him for us. I suppose. Uh... Uh, yeah, Cloud, I don't think your Phoenix sounds are gonna help. <laughs> no, just that you... Like I your... said. Cloud, Cloud is literally chugging a potion in front of a corpse. Uh, like, mm, this tastes good. Cool, huh? I'm, doing it, I'm doing it in honor of Biggs, and also to make sure that his sacrifice yeah. is not in vain. Yeah. Drink a potion for Biggs. Like I've said, like I said, Dwebs, uh, if the story dictates the, the, the story dictates it, then the Phoenix sound will not work. There's also a common idea in mind that the chaos status that you get in combat 
may be more of the fact that the character is become mm. like dizzy, too, too stressed out to continue fighting, but okay. not necessarily dead. But if all of your party becomes KO'd, that mm. means that the monsters can finish you off for Okay, good. another thing, another thing though, when you walk into the boxes, they are, um, I'm not sure if this game uses a Havoc physics engine, but... Um, Unreal 4, you know, believe so. Also, yeah, Cloud slashes the guard's body over. Cloud, he's dead. Anyway. Um, That's but, you yeah. doing it. I can imagine the boxes being pushed over the edge and it and it landing on someone's head. Oh, and there's yeah. another return, the Heli Trooper, which is one of the more impractical, um, you know, um, yeah. sweet design I mean, for a soldier. Sure, it gives you the ability to fly it, but it blocks you really got your one head. Arm. He can only use one arm. Not just that, I'm pretty confident that having to hold one of your arms perpetually in order to fly makes you tired, uh, you know, at least for a couple, after a couple of minutes. Yeah, I mean, damn. You, you, you can always chuck that up to, you know, probably inject it with some stimulants from Mojo that makes them, you know, super hyper stamina, like damn. that. Also, um, Fitting, uh, yeah, funeral, funeral is sounding music. I'm making the original well, where the the Eddie troopers may switch stances between up, within flying, and you know staying down. They only come down if you manage to stagger them properly. Like, oh, you killed him first. Um, but if if the, if that blow didn't kill them, the stagger would have forced them to drop down, making them more easy to target. Logically, if you face them with Barrett in your party, they're actually more easy pickings when they're still flying. Mm -hmm. hmm. <sighs> Alright. Is there any more death and despair waiting for me on the floor? Yes. <laughs> Story of my life, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not just uh, this yours. Is, this, isn't, this isn't something you want to put on the live stream. I mean, well, that's that well, as for friend like, died social, for social, social commentary, like, see what again, you guys are doing. Then again, he does have a point. If I leave the live stream on, then I can help expose Shinra for their we're crimes. Not Wu -tai. Who cares we're not, if we're not, not my Wu -tai. Who cares if we're Wu -tai or not? We're still exposing Shinra for their crimes against humanity. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright, we don't have the annoying ninja with us. Imagine that happening. Maybe she won't be as annoying in the remake. Well, we'll, we'll see. How, how was she in the compilation? Uh, barely there. I mean, no, well, she she has a more prominent role in Dirge of Cerberus, technically. Mm -hmm. as, as, you yeah. know, she she actually she actually becomes very you know uh, in touch with Vincent, not in a sense of romantically, but she becomes a good friend with him, kind of reflecting well, the idea they were to the two optional characters. Uh, so. Well, dear, 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 dear. like I, I'm talking about the compilation as a whole. She's barely there when you true, get down true. To it. But, but, well, what I'm saying, she gets the most development in terms of several, but unfortunately, it's still not saying much. Here's the thing about Dirge of Cerberus. Yes, it's a thing, but that may be the most least recognized part of the compilation. Well, ironically, because, like I mentioned a couple of parts ago, because it's the one that pushes the and most of the, the story forward. And it was and it was the one that was on the biggest console at the time, the PS2. I think the... Well, mm -hmm. the, well the, I don't think that's what, he's, what, what Joe was talking about. What Joe was talking about is... It's more so the fact that it's a shooter, which is the antithesis of what Final Fantasy fans want from their series. So, it, 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 I get that Katazi loves shooters, but... Like, Not only that, but as a result, there's a service kind of feels oh boy. quite disconnected oh boy. from things. So yeah, in this remake, Shinra wants to take two boards with one stone and blame the pillar, the pillar destruction, onto Avalanche itself. So no matter what happens, they can come out on top. That said, though, Shinra may be overestimating how um, stupid Reno, the Reno, are. the bike's, Reno, the bike's still on. Yeah, yeah, I, I beat the him. shit out of hey, you. Hey, remember me? I'm the guy who nearly killed you. <laughs> Wanna go I mean, for round two? 
I mean, imagine if he was spilling the beads more on what on any on everything about Shibra. Well, and then remember, Rude he, to, and then and then Rude had to elbow oh. him as like say, Roberto, the mic's still on. It's kind of what happens when you meet the Turks in Gongaga, <laughs> baby. First class asshole. Oh snap! He's killing Teddy. I'm surprised we didn't use the line "Let's see you dance now." Come, come on, come on, Reno. You are out. He's outrunning your bullets. Well, no shit, Cloud. Okay, so I just had to think of a way to take down an attack helicopter. Um, uh, pray. <laughs> That restores a, a HP leaves. That doesn't solve anything. Yeah, but it doesn't. But it doesn't work for helicopters. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I Who's fooled, laughing? <laughs> Who's laughing? Did someone leave their mic on there again? I'm laughing. <laughs> You're having a giggle there. <laughs> Bash your fucking head in as well, me mom. Well, cried. Get down. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised the Dementors didn't come in. She'll verify out the way and let Wedge get crushed by the pipes. You'd think. Yeah, it's a bit it's inconsistent. Not your time yet, lady. <laughs> How is it? Much better, thanks. Ooh. There's still trouble up there, then. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. You can't punch the helicopter. <laughs> She'll She'll try. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably won't stop her trying. Yeah, but in order to punch the helicopter, yeah, besides the helicopter could just fly away. You have, and you're to to your uh, death. you have to understand one thing, Dweebs, about monks in the Final Fantasy series. Their most like common idea of solving a problem is punching things. Okay, so um Alright, so while Cloud's climbing the tower. It's up to Aerith to rescue Marlene from what's, what's bound to be a soon-to-be right. crushed a, Seventh Heaven. That's right. In a bit of a change in the original game, we actually get to play as Aerith going to make sure that Marlene's okay. Yep. Which makes it, which is a great addition because we never saw any. We we just we just had, we, yeah we knew it happened because uh, Aerith had that one moment. She said, "Don't worry, Tifa, she's okay." But we never Literally, saw any of it. Literally, the next scene we see Aerith is her getting kidnapped. It's and also, also time for the payoff yeah. from the guard from before. Yeah, yeah. Remember, also guards, remember that junior guard from um, who was who was hesitant to follow the orders as it was strict to Gruffer Senior. Mm -hmm. And let's okay. just say that Aerith will get to save a few more lives than just one. Again, it's one of those things. Oh. Again, it's one of the big advantages of having this project be a of this be a multi-part project. It allows for them to fill in the holes that the original had. You don't think we're gonna stop hmm. from dropping the plate, do you? I wanna believe that we could still win somehow. But hmm. something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Um, oh, now what would give you that feeling, Wedge? Mm -hmm. It's like you've played this game before. <laughs> the universe the script, is so. telling me something. That's no excuse to give up. Again, unfortunately, we also almost, uh, you know, uh, got oh, oh, all oh, the budget. Oh, oh. Or... I, I love uh, what, I, I, hey, Jova, what Earth just said. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I didn't catch that. What did you say? Wait, hold Wish on, hold on. Hold done hold. different. Uh, let's watch this. Hmm. This feels wet with determination. I don't know, everyone's pretty determined. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Uh, that's nice, sir, but can you move away? Sir, this is a McDonald's. Our lives are Wedge wants that session sauce. <laughs> oh, oh. Doing, so, soldier. Oh, sir, I will not obey that order. A new Most crew. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, in an interesting turn of events, unlike the original, there will actually get to be some survivors of Sector Seven, aside from the main characters. 
You know, because the new... uh, it, it gives a bit of humanity also to the Shinra soldiers in a sense that they're not just mindless be mindless ghouls. Yeah, as you recall in the original, pretty much everyone who was not a Sector 7 pretty much died. Here, yeah, Aerith will actually get a few people out of there. I think even Johnny's parents die. Not Johnny himself, he shows up later in Costa del Sol, but... They're gonna knock it down and kill all of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Yeah, that that's right a good now, point. We, to get to we gotta get out of here. Ah, good thinking. Up to it. <laughs> you did good, Aerith. You saved more lives this time around. Just a friend. Yeah, we haven't gave her the official Avalanche you know, member card yet. <laughs> Well, she's earned it. Congratulations, Arif. You are now a terrorist. Not to mention, by the time <laughs> not, not not to mention by the time the Midgar arc ends anyway, Avalanche is pretty much done. And even Barrett well, says that it's it lives uh, on in the party. Oh, that we pretty, made. pretty much. Very, 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 we discussed about that also uh, at the Cosmo Canyon oh. campfire. Oh. What is um... this, Resident Evil? <laughs> I know, right? Look out! You're gonna crash! Ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. the seven You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> well, um, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, okay. Aerith. Okay. How that? How that didn't kill Aerith, If I don't know. Well, Aerith, it's not her time yet. Well, 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 Aerith, What's important is that you tried. <laughs> Just like one week. <laughs> well, it, well, it made her from the beginning. If she died well, here, it made her well, dress dirty. There's that. Uh, well, Siri, well, Siri, it was supposed to be it's supposed to be Wedge's time, and yeah, he's not dead yet. <laughs> well, actually, whatever. We actually don't see him, you know, actually properly dying. He's still able to talk when Cloud abandons him. Um, so. <laughs> We just assume we just perished the moment the the plate collapsed or while Cloud was busy. Again, oh it, 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 the change of perspective for the remake is also important to see the, the time frame. Oh no, the girl who had the cat friends. This literally is the part where it becomes a Resident <laughs> Evil game, complete with the helicopters crashing and everything. Where are all the cats, though? Um, is Tetsuya no more uh, uh, um, a uh, Resident Evil uh, fan? Uh, uh, Roy, I, I have can, some bad news about some of the cats. I can tell you, uh, I can answer you, I cannot answer that, Tips, um, but I can tell you that uh, he's a fan of Star Wars, uh, Yakuza, um, probably Battle Gear as well. Um, definitely. That, considering <laughs> one particular thing about Kingdom Hearts 3, definitely Metal Gear. Yeah. Oh God, right. Um, but uh, oh, and then and and, oh, 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 and and the automata. Don't forget the automata. I can, I can also tell you. Oh, sorry. Theory, I love how they pop into existence and run into Aerith. I guess you. I can, I can also tell you that he may love Cat because he has one of them. In some particular of the live stream of the CDNT, when he had to speak, he used this cat as proxy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Shroy, um. Uh, if you're a cat lover, you may cry to what happens to some of the cats. They'll have their revenge. Of course. I mean, after all, Red 13 is a mixture between a lion and a wolf, so it's close enough. Excuse me. Uh, Those are dogs. Excuse me, Teo. I think the term you, the term you mean is a rat dog? <laughs> Lab rat oh. dog. Lab rat dog. Oh, jump. Yeah, yeah a lion is. Yeah, I got, cat. um,. Yeah, I think I think I think I got lost. Yeah, either I got lost a bit, Basic or I had to pull for a while. But basically, sure, that's what uh, that's what uh, um, Barrett calls them in uh, in uh, in the, in this room. A lab rat dog. Basically, one thing that the f one thing that the fandom were allowed to do it was to expand the bromance of that Red Thirteen and Barrett. Uh, you know, start to establish. Mind you, it wasn't completely absent from the original game, but it was something that was more like scratched. Oh. Oh. So something like oh, I'll, I'll mention later. Say, you nearly killed your target. 
They're the best. <laughs> when did Sang, it Sang, did you blow up? Did you blow up my subject? Yeah, it's uh, like, Well, Jova, there's a good reason why the Turks were almost completely disbanded. We actually haven't seen it yet. Sang is on. Let me check who voices him in the meantime. It, it's you. Can you imagine how embarrassing it would have been for Sang if he was. Killed Aerith. <laughs> he probably were going to. I, 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 just saw, I just saw Aerith in the face. He probably well, were going I mean, to deep depression since he's in love with Aerith. Well, I mean, hey, but hey, I mean, at least Sephiroth would have one less person to kill. Yeah, Tseng is a kind of morbid, but implied morbid attraction towards Aerith, which is kind of creepy considering he knows her since, since she was a child. You know, you know, uh, you know, you know, that I think about it. While we're expanding on things, we need. Um, we need uh, Elena to attack Aerith and uh, out of jealousy. There you are. Who are you? I'm a, um, I'm the angel of the slums. I'm the Jesus. Of, I am the Jesus of Midgar, Aerith. Well, look at it this way too. Uh, that way, Aerith can have her equivalent of uh, the Scarlet Bitch Slap duel. Right <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say there may not be a home to come back to, sweetie. Asked me to. She said, "Take care of Marlene." The thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm going to take you somewhere safer. Relatively. Better than nothing. Oh. Well, well, yeah, because pretty soon this whole place will be reduced to nothing. Exactly. Ooh. Well, um, yeah. So we better we better get out of here soon. I know it's hard. Just remember. This is also a particular somber remix of Aerith's film. Unlike you, you still have a parent. Yeah. Well, Aerith's, Aerith's theme was already kind of somber. Well, well, Pedro, mm. it's, it's funny you mention it though, because when you get down to it. Both she and her technically have a parent, but it's an adoptive parent when you get down to it. True. It was only one of, one of the early concepts uh, had Barrett being actually the biological father of Marlene, but it was scrapped in favor of dying. Oh. Huh? Okay, keep that also in mind for later. Yeah, keep that in mind for later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, um, Marlene. Hold on Spo to your butts. Spoilers. <laughs> oh. You smell nice. Oh. Uh, hey. <laughs> now that now that's a George Lucas line. <laughs> also, that's quite surprising considering she was just blown out of the air, but. So yeah, if you I don't actually, know. Too. I don't know. Too. If, you it's, uh... the, if you actually brought the flower, Marlene will recognize that. Huh. But yeah, no, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Terra, for two reasons. One, um, it actually does make sense because it ties into the flower, and second, uh, it's a little girl saying it. Uh, unlike with uh, Anakin, where he's just say, "You, you, are you a name? Are you?" <laughs> Well, oh, does he just go around sniffing people or something? Okay, okay. <laughs> he might as well. It's a huge topic. Well. To be fair, Anakin is the younger party in that case. That's what I was about to say, to, uh, Jova. Yeah, he's. Uh, oh. What is this? Oh. It's sung. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I, I found in the meantime, he's voiced by Vic Chow, an American actor of Asian ethnicity. That's great casting, actually. Yeah. Appearance. He was in the Paranormal movie and Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. So, yeah, in this, in, so yeah, what I like about it is that in this remake, Aerith actually makes a deal with Song. Makes uh, sense. Song, I've come to bargain. To call Crisis Core. Song, uh, I've come to bargain. Yeah, that's, that's how she said it. Yes, Jova. To call Crisis Core, huh? The price of freedom, sure. Is oh, what guy? Oh, what guy? It's even the 20s, the most recent update installed. 
okay, Dweeb, yeah. this is like the inappropriate SpongeBob ad meme for Cora. <laughs> Come on. I say <laughs> your notifications. <laughs> I say I say I can't predict when they come up. I say well, Dweebs, you can turn them off in the options. Just saying. But then, but where would the fun be in that? Oh. <laughs> I mean, at least it's better than the phone notifications from Polar Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, nice uh, transition there. As we go back to Shinra. Yeah, from, Shinra, from, 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 from Shinra but, to but, Shinra. But don't you see that more, more than that Seriously. is. More than that is. We transition from one helicopter to another helicopter. Okay. That really does it out for me. Well, there's no more and Toriyama wants you to notice they're directing. Oh, oh yeah, I love, I love this bit. This. And with that, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh, Rue doesn't want him to shoot Tifa. <laughs> doesn't, want to, to harm his, doesn't want to harm his wife. <laughs> oh, Aerof, you showing up may have been just the thing to save my. You're crazy. Just like you. So suck it up. So you're hey. perfect for each other. Yes, I know we're perfect for each other, but maybe we should wait until later to admit bit. it. Yeah, I'm slipped, eh? And bring a bite into it! Your uh, hand sick is supposed to be a good time. Remind, remind me again why the Turks are supposed to be complicated. Oh, ow, 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 Okay, time to go. Well, that's, well, that's the thing, too. Like you yourself said, like, the way they were written in the original Japanese script of the original game, even though they were just as incompetent, they weren't. R the script didn't even acknowledge it, so it became a genuine problem. In the localized script, it, they actually make make it a, a proper plot point, a, a particular trait of theirs, which made it better, if you yeah. ask me. It it works well here in this remake. Here, they're competent. It's just that more often than not, they're <laughs> kind of put into cases where they are out of their league, or they just have the word, or one of them happens to have a particular change of heart here and there. Uh, I've, I've been children already also brought to the basics for this new pastiche of characterization, but... How many of these briefings are there? Like, like, it was a more primitive state, if you had to ask me. Hey, it's... Tio, I'm... How much, how, hey Tio, how much you want to bet that they'll maybe take stuff from that Turks novel and put it into the remake during the, the big right. climatic Well, thing. again, I'm, ex I'm considering how they're keeping all those referencing to, the, at least before Crisis, that entails a lot of things, like a couple of most of the Turks going into hiding, Vincent knowing them a bit more, particularly the recent branch, because he actually worked with them. Um, one of the Turks, uh, that showed up also in Crisis Core has an official name, Cisney. Um, she also has a bit of a more personality because the thing about the player characters, oh, the ow, character ow, characters ow. in Before Crisis was that uh, they were a bit of a blank slate, appropriately. Yes, I, but, I know uh, I suck at Heidi. Stealth's not really my thing, you know? But Cisney, which got, was one of these blank slates that got developed in Crisis Core, you know, was, uh, you know, an inch, I mean, uh, up compared to them um so i do wonder in what capacity the next parts of a remake will tackle these subjects oh. Oh. Car you actually get to surprise why is it or sorry Jova, you, you cut out can you repeat that i mean as this surprise the turks during that i guess well we'll have to yeah. see Sorry, Joe, I couldn't uh, quite... That's I not how that goes. Hmm. Yeah. It stops Jeez, swearing, I... what the hell? Jesus, you think I nearly killed this guy? Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> Did, were you trying to say something, Pedro? Sorry. No, I was just saying that I couldn't understand him because he was... Also, Tifa, your oh. hair is uh, doing the weird thing again. <laughs> um, I think I'm not aiming at my hair. Ow, 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 <laughs> no, thank you. We want some more. Those, those are scrap damage, Cloud. <laughs> you should be doing what any sensible character is doing and taking the bullets while thinking whatever happened to launch. I guess. You know, whatever did happen to launch? I don't know, Jova. 
You know, Toriyama has literally gone on to a mistake. That's I'm cool. Cool. I took out both of them at once. <laughs> does she at least cameo in the mobile Dragon Ball game? I think it's called Dokkan Battle. Not uh, that I know of. Mere. Come on, Reno. Okay, okay, okay. You know what's funny? Toriyama you never, has... You'll never kill me. Toriyama has gone on to literally admit that he just forgot about her. He well, really okay, again, again about it is her. a bit understandable considering by the time of the later parts yeah. of Z, there were like a shitload of characters to track down and most of the stuff from the original Dragon Ball series was sort of left behind. Yep. Oh. Damn, this, I hope this tower's gonna hold up much longer. Oh yeah, when you But crit... I will never let That's it go. That's why we got... <laughs> Jesus. Jesse's blowing the shit out of everyone. <laughs> Give her a bit more time and she will blow the, the pillar herself. Yeah. Complete with it's the just... heroic pose and everything. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Maybe don't stand there. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Th uh, no, don't do that. You'll jinx yourself. Why do we have to kiss the grenade? Oh. For, for good luck. Uh, Jesse, behind, oh, Jesse you. behind you. Also, stop uh, monologuing, please. Your first mistake. Yeah, but, oh. Well, okay. Right, um, I'm sure she took it out. Yeah, uh, okay, I mean, to be honest, even without the Dementors, she probably would have got herself killed anyway by jigsing they're, herself. They're, in they're, that they're, line. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, excuse, excuse me, Dweebs. They're called Whispers. Thank you very much. They're I know, dementors. I know. It's just, it's just Dementors. <laughs> it's just. It's just I remember. It's just they look like the Ventures to me. So you bring yeah. ru you bring ruination to the Final Fantasy franchise. <laughs> so, oh yeah, like the fourteen one point oh did that worse. Thirteen did that. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like seriously, thirteen was. You remember, thirteen was as much as you mainline fans were getting for an entire console generation. Well, remember, Jova. Well, Jova, Jova, Jova. Well, Jova, remember. Um, I don't even play the MM the MMO ones like eleven and fourteen. Like so, so I so well, Pedro is in well, a, was in an even worse situation. Technically. Well, that. Well, that's why I said, you mainline fans, I don't count 14 as a mainline game. Well, it is considered uh, one. 14 and 11 aren't really mainline games. They're MMOs. Well, well, well the thing is, I, I think, it's, I've talked about this before. I think the thing is that I still think 11 and 14 should have been their own Final Fantasy Online spin-off series. Like, call, call it that. Exactly. The the thing, Jova, is that they bother, you know, it's something that also happened to Dragon Quest as well. 10 is on MMO. Yeah, same thing but with the 10. Thing is yeah. Square bother to, you know, to title them as mainline, so at the very least, uh, should be recognized as such. You know what's the interesting thing? Not to mention, Jova, the shift towards action oriented gameplay compared to the turn base will mean that each, each uh, title's mm -hmm becomes progressively different from the previous ones. Uh, so technically speaking, all that uh, for 11 and 14 are providing is just a different gameplay style. They're not, uh, if they're not turning into a shooter, it's still an, RP an RPG, but it's like using MMO mechanics, basically. It's confusing though. Do you square them still? Consider 11 and Games. Yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah, yeah but remember, Jova, even when it comes to representation in crossovers, they are treated as such, my not uh, as it's been also. My only real issue well, is because, again, when I think Final Fantasy, I think still will play RPGs, and I, uh, like, and it's, uh, it bec it bec and I don't really, I'm not really into MMOs, so it becomes kind of an issue uh, for me when it comes to, okay, and for no now I have to wait uh, uh, an extra like even more time for the next Final Fantasy game to compare to someone like Teo, for example. So, so inform me of this then. Um, how long did it take for 14 to you know be um, Realm Reborn the actual uh, three, three game? Three years. Sense of... Three okay, years. Okay, so, okay, so like, so by the time it got fixed, were the PS4 and Xbox One a thing? Yeah, yes. uh, one, uh, of the seven, one of okay, the selling can, points of Realm Reborn one at a time, was one at a time. One of the selling points of Realm Reborn was to be available also on the PS4 and having crossplay with a PC version. The reason why it wasn't the Xbox One was because Microsoft actually didn't want it to do crossplay. Ironically, right. enough, for the um, console version. Okay, uh, 14, 14 was on PS3 in August. The PS4 didn't launch till that November. So, so, so my point kind of stands. For an entire console generation, if you are a mainline Final Fantasy fan, regardless of whether or not it was a single player campaign or an MMO, 
Oh boy, must that have sucked. The 13 Pretty trilogy much. when it yeah. comes to single player campaigns and the absolute garbage that was the original 14 to the and mind you, that is day getting documentaries of the development, the troubles, and every single power. Oh, even like honestly, Jonah, even Square, even them, even Square to, themselves, sorry, um, even Square themselves have talked about it. You know what's the interesting? Remember, remember Jova, if 14 did not uh, recover with Iron Reborn, that would have spent actual bankruptcy for the company. That's that was the lowest point that we got. But here's the thing, wow. uh, um, Jova. Even when it came to the spin-off uh, or re-releases, uh, the PS3 Xbox 360 era was barren because we got the 10, 10, 2 remaster at the tail end of a generation, and it was arguably a crappy port uh, because it was outsourced to a Chinese company. Oh, well, the PS4 one. To... Well, that that came later, Dweebs. I'm talking about yeah. the, the, the. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. I'll save it for after this. Damn yeah. you, whispers of fate! Remember, she's supposed to die here. Tifa. Maybe you can see the look on your face. She's still gonna sass you even in her final moments. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> here lies Jesse. She never scored. <laughs> Damn. Okay, um, okay, so we, we didn't get to see exactly what happened. My guess was the, um, when she chucked the grenade, one of the ghosts, um, just like, either pushed, back her, at her. either threw it back at her, or pushed her in the line of explosion so she'd die as well as the helicopter. It, de much. it depends, Webs. It could have also been that she was attacked by other Shira uh, staff. That's, like... It's also the thing. Uh, Jesse dies uh, thinking that she has been also responsible for the uh, for destruction of the of the Mako Reactor 1. Mm -hmm. Also, Jovi, you say that, but she's dying in Cloud's arms. I'd say that's a win. Just try to hang on. <laughs> if you consider that scoring, I guess. I'm sure oh, she does. Yeah. True, true. Don't worry, she'll be reincarnated as um, as a computer programmer soon, so... <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, Cloud Returns. <laughs> Damn, that is sad. Considering also her past, that makes you also more interested to see when we eventually get to the Gold Saucer and considering she has used to work there, if they knew about her and everything. Hmm. Wonder anything about that in this remake? Um, it was the tone. This bump. Don't you guys have some like me? I officially grant you first base, Jesse. You earned it. <laughs> um Bob. But too late for that. And uh press F's for Jesse now. <laughs> I think the F key is stuck at this F point. F in the chat boys. <laughs> Yeah, Cloud, this is the moment yeah. uh, where you should have some words, uh, you know, of encouragement. And they'd, uh, and they'd have gotten away with it too if it weren't for them bloody dementors. <laughs> no, he's just going to be very anime about this. It's not, it's not good. No, no, well, he remember, he's not going to do the scream. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's actually keep bottling up the inside. Well, remember, mm. uh, he's not good at this. Yeah. Yet, mm. at least. And, and, and we end the part on that. Whenever. Um, the thing about. What instruments we should be used for, for the Amazing Grace uh, cover? The thing, uh -huh. the thing, the flute, the thing, an electric guitar. The thing we have to remember. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Pedro. Uh, yes, Pedro. The the thing we have to remember, Shira, about Cloud is that because of his uh, ineptitude, uh, let's call it, the, uh, for lack of a better word, um, whenever a big emotional moment like this happens, he doesn't, he cannot properly react because he's just. It's little, extra difficult for him. It's really yeah. difficult for him. So. But don't, so, worry, don't, um, worry, don't worry, don't worry, he'll get better over the course of the of the story. Not this game, the, the entire story. So, unfortunately, we have lost two of our comrades in arms, but we will, but we shall, we shall, we shall uh, respect their memories by trying to defeat the evil plot of Shimmer in the next part. So we'll see you then.
And by the way, fuck the Dementors. Hashtag fuck the Dementors. <laughs> the, yeah. wi the, wi the whispers of fate. I'm totally going to unlike this Let's Play. <laughs> the 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 just like on this one, we know it's from Pedro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.